everyone. Thank you for joining us to commemorate Power BI's five-year milestone. And what better way to do this than by thanking you, the Power BI community, for all of your contributions and dedication. I'm Kelly Kay. And I'm Sandy Rivas, and we look after the amazing Power BI community here at Microsoft. That's right, Sandy, and we wanted to take this opportunity to share how much we appreciate all you do. And now we've got a few housekeeping items before we start. First up, hopefully you've joined us on community.powerbi.com, where you could have a chance to win a special Power BI t-shirt. We brought back a community favorite. The vintage t-shirt looked like this. Yes, but now it looks like this. So make sure you visit community.powerbi.com to be in the running. Okay, we've got some great stuff coming up for you in the next hour. You'll be hearing from a few of your favourites. We'll be thanking the Power BI community for their contributions. But more importantly, we'd like to hear from you, our Power BI community. So send us a tweet on hashtag Power BI 5. That's Power BI and the number 5. Who knows, your tweet might be highlighted and featured during this live stream by, surprise, surprise, Adam and Patrick. And oh, we all wow. know who they are. <laughs> so let's all join in thanking you, our wonderful, vibrant Power BI community for all you do to empower others. So Kelly, let's get on with the show. And with that, our gratitude begins here. Hi everyone, uh, I'm James Phillips. I'm the president of Microsoft's Business Applications Group. And you know, it's amazing that it's been five years since we set on the, uh, out on the journey with Power BI and we couldn't have done it without you. I mean, it really is the community that has made Power BI in many ways the success that it is today. And it is a success and, and we have you to thank for it. So thank you all deeply for going on this journey with us, for supporting each other, for building the community up, for making Power BI more than just a product. In many ways, it's a movement, and it's a movement because of you. Uh, as we come together to celebrate five years, go away knowing that your impact has made a difference and that we are looking forward to the next five years of this journey with you. So thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's been an incredible five years uh, since Power BI launched as an upstart, essentially in the world of BI. And over the last five years has grown into uh, pretty much the industry leading, uh, you know, uh, uh, platform for business intelligence. And in large part, it's because the community uh, rallied around Power BI. You guys, uh, you know, uh, found meaning, uh, you helped us build an incredible product, you gave us feedback, and then you told our story. Um, so thank you so much for leading in and engaging and building this partnership. We're very, very grateful. Five years, guys, five years, can you believe it? It's been an amazing journey with you, the community that we have, what a passionate, passionate set of users that help us and guide us. Uh, wow, so excited to have you joining us for the next hour. It's been a really interesting journey. I still remember the time that I've started working with Power Query, first version called Data Explorer as an add-on in Excel, and even earlier than that, uh, Power Pivot in Excel. I remember when Power BI evolved from the PowerView plugin in Excel, and now look how far it's come. Now, if the last five years are any indication of the next five to come, then we're in for a very wild ride. I gotta say, I haven't always loved you in those first couple of years, but now you are the best thing that ever happened to me. So happy fifth birthday. Now, I don't know how many of you remember Power BI seven years ago. It was a collection of add-ins for Excel. Power People, Power View, Power Query. That was the BI product of Microsoft. And what a change we made. We consolidated everything to one product and we launched it and was so humble. It has almost nothing. And it, the only thing you can say good about it was just very, very inexpensive. But from those humble, humble beginnings, the experiences that we have built together with you, with your guidance, has been incredible. What a product Power BI turned out to be. This, this ugly duckling becomes this amazing swan. I love the Power BI community because we're all on there to either help each other answer a question or provide a question and together we can figure it out. I want to say thank you to everyone on the extended Power BI product team for all of the information sharing and interaction that you have with us in the Power BI community. 
I can't wait to see what's next. One of the most exciting parts of Power BI for me personally is the passion of the community. The fact that you guys take time to go into ideas.powerbi.com and tell us what you'd like us to build is just so exciting. My team and I, we wake up in the morning and we look at the list of features that you have for us. And believe it or not, you guys have 24,000 ideas you want us to go work on. But this gets us excited, this gets us going. We talk about how we can get those uh, uh, ideas uh, and those votes off the table. It also keeps us uh, shipping. So we ship new features in the service on a, uh, on a weekly basis and new features in desktop every single month. And this um, you know, the ship velocity was something that was really not seen in the BI industry before. And it's really been a partnership between our ability to ship and your focus on telling us what to build. Thank you. One of the most exciting opportunities I have is to hear from you guys. I hear from community members that changed their career with Power BI. They had ordinary jobs and then that found Power BI, got enthused about it, became the champion, changed their career trajectory, changed the culture of the teams around them, transformed the business, and they live in a completely different reality today. What an amazing story. These are these stories from you guys are the stories that bring a smile to my face, spring to my step, and makes my week. Thank you so much for that. Just because the Power BI has been a great success, we also have seen an increasing volume of traffic on our website, which means that we probably help people to write better data models and better tax code for their models. I don't know if people can imagine it today, but five years ago, when we decided to give away the Power BI desktop, it was a highly controversial decision here at Microsoft. Are we really going to give a product completely free forever? But that was an amazing decision. This allowed the Power BI desktop to reach everywhere. Like everybody was using it. And you know, it wasn't just for businesses, it was just for rich people, just for families. Everybody were adopting it. We saw people using it for their home finances, for their hobby, for their curiosity. And that allows us to build this community of enthusiastic people that love the fact that we now give them the power of data visualization, data analysis, and they saw it as a mission to help us build that product further on. And it gave us all these amazing ideas that drove the team and energized the team to deliver what you know today as a Power BI desktop. Power BI taught me something incredibly important. It's not just looking at your data or reading your data. You have to be able to interpret it quickly. The faster you can make those decisions, the better off you're going to be. I'm really excited about the AI tools that we have in Power BI, from writing R and Python scripts to the AI insights that doesn't need that much coding for user. One of the areas that has been really very really exciting for us to innovate on is kind of leverage all of the capabilities around Microsoft and around artificial intelligence and machine learning and shamelessly steal and bring those capabilities into Power BI, into simple experiences that are focused on business users and business analysts. Uh, and this has really been a revolution. Today, over 75,000 customers use the AI capabilities in Power BI, and it's really exciting to see how they can leverage AI to get those insights and make those insights pop. One of the most impactful projects that I've been a part of was developing a dashboard for the Cloud9 League of Legends team and had a direct impact on our performance in the 2020 spring split. It allowed us to explore team performance insights and help give us a competitive advantage. For the last three years, I have been teaching 10 to 16 year old kids all about Power BI. Every year I run Power BI competitions for these kids, which was not only fun to organize, but also very informative. Tell you a secret, my kids are using Power BI and I'm serious, they're not, not a hobby. My kids are actually running a small startup. My ninth grader is running a startup for eSports, video gaming. He has tens of thousands of users on his website and he's using Power BI to analyze all this data. What do you Data culture from early age? I just love it, amazing. One of the incredible things that have happened is what the journey that started off with Power BI has grown into the complete Power Platform. Uh, we now have Power Apps, we have Power Automate, we have Power Virtual Agent, and it really helps customers uh, you know, go from insight to action to automation, all in minutes and hours, as opposed to weeks and months before the Power Platform became real.
So hey, uh, I know a lot of you have uh, expanded your skills to you know to uh, build skills on the rest of the Power Platform as well. So I just wanted to thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being part of Power BI. Thank you for being part of the Power Platform. And I hope you have a ton of fun through the rest of the event that we have put together for you. Thank you. We're here to actually have a retrospective of the last five years of Power BI. But Power BI started long before that. 20 years of analysis services and report server go into making Power BI. Here, we're in building 35. This is the birthplace of analysis services and report server. It actually shipped in 2011, Power BI did, as that project Crescent that I mentioned earlier, as part of the Denali preview. So this is kind of the first place people got to see the Power BI preview or those Power BI bits. And let's actually go out and do a shout out to some of the community members. It was in 2011 with those first preview bits that Devin Knight, Brian Knight, and a guy named Patrick LeBlanc, a TSP who was actually focused on education back then, shipped the very first book about the Power BI services as part of Denali. So thank you very much, Patrick, Devin, and uh, Brian. We really appreciate your efforts. Yo. Yo. What's up? <laughs> oh, so excited to be here with everyone. Patrick, this is amazing. Yeah. This is, this is I great. Know, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I got to show you this, right? Okay. Look at that. Look what I did on my, my watch. Look at that. There we go. Wow. Boom. So excited. That's a lot of power so BI. Excited. That is That's a lot, a of, lot power of power BI. BI. All right. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah. 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 All right, I gotta I gotta take this off so I can see things. That's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us. I, I know Arun mentioned it as well, but it, the community means so much to us, the Power BI team, just everyone at Microsoft, and we're just very thankful that you could tune in for this event. And we're gonna be popping in and out here as we go. And then at the end, we're gonna have a, kind of a longer segment where we will engage with everyone. There are a lot of tweets going on. I love it. And I'm seeing a ton of folks uh, from Nicola, Daniel, Paul Turley, Wolfgang, James. Uh, we've got uh, Cecilia. Paul Parrish. Yeah, Catherine. Uh, so uh, Catherine uh, made, a, made a comment here. Uh, she said, first thing she can remember in 2017, Power BI 5 and Dataveld, which is Mr. Uh, David Eldersveld. So that's awesome. All so right, this Patrick. This is a cool one, Adam. Oh. Jane. Okay. Uh, so, so Patrick, real quick, uh, we only have a few minutes here. So one thing we yeah. want to do is we want to ask some questions to everyone and get some of those tweets flowing. So Patrick, what's our first question that we're going to do? Okay. The first question, what's the most impactful customer project you've used for Power BI? Mm -hmm. Let us know, right? Tell oh, us. That's a good one. That's, that's a good, good one. You know? All right. Cool. Think yeah. about that. Tweet some things out and we will be back in a few minutes. I just wanted to say thank you so much to the Power BI community over the last five years. Seeing what you build with Power BI is so inspiring to the team. I love shipping new features and seeing the innovative, sometimes crazy ways you make them your own. The most fun project I worked on in Power BI was the report I created to track my newborn twin sleep schedule. However, the insights I found were basically that I wasn't getting enough sleep. I'm so excited to see where the community takes us over the next five years. Please continue to share your amazing content and your feedback on Power BI so we can continue to grow this product together. Thank you, community. You know, when I moved to the engineering team, I never imagined we would be building such a big product that had such a fantastic community behind it. And those early days were, were really a team effort with people chipping in around support and documentation and tutorials, and of course, spinning up and supporting that community. And it was wonderful to see the community grow and change and how people started sharing and learning from each other as well. Uh, and it's led to some wonderful moments. So for example, somebody came to me at an event and said, hey, we, we took your course and I saw Power BI as a wonderful opportunity for me to grow my career. And they had rolled Power BI out inside their organization and just recently got a promotion off the back of the success of that. You know, people are changing their lives and changing their careers based on this. And the folks in the community are driving some wonderful projects as well. Everything from reporting on sports to comics to dinosaurs and dancing cats. Um, but also they track their volunteer time and work they've done with charitable organizations, really changing the world with Power BI. And we love the community so much, we invite them to come and help build the product. We've had contributors add things like Drop Shadows, those third-party tool integrations, just to name a few that we've shipped in the recent months. 
So here's to many, many more years of collaboration between the product teams and the community. We love the feedback and we love engaging with you on, on Twitter and forums and Reddit, everywhere else. We'll see you out there. Thank you. Thank you community for five great years. We love you. <laughs> All right, so I, I saw some <laughs> tweets awesome. about how do we get these glasses and they have the old logo. These are vintage. These, I don't even remember when we got these, Patrick, do you? This is classic, man. I don't this, remember when I got classic, these. These are yeah. classic. Yeah, these, are, yeah, these were awesome. back when Power BI first started. So uh, I don't think you, you can't get those anymore. Maybe they'll make, maybe the Power BI team will make new ones and, you know, that'd be awesome. So, so Patrick, I know you, you pointed out a tweet to me that you liked. Uh, James uh, had to say that he was so excited that he could finally apply for intermediate developer posts that require five years of Power BI. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. That's I love awesome. it. Awesome. All right. So uh, Rox has got a tweet here also answering the question we just asked. My most incredible project uh, with Power BI uh, has been helping my university with automation on the repeated process. Mm. I did it for my thesis. It was a wonderful experience. Oh. That is great to hear, Rox. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. Oh, yeah, all awesome. right. And then let's see if we've got another here real quick. Uh, let's go to Daniel. Daniel's got one. So he's a German customer with Dynamics 365 via CDS, CDM. And Azure SQL, we made a sales target goal report build on Power BI. And uh, ASA represent daily sales goals versus actual charts running over time. Wow. Whew, that's a lot. That is a lot. That's awesome that's to hear, lot. though. All right, Patrick, what's our next question that we've got for everyone? What's the best or funniest or funniest project you've worked on in Power BI? Oh, that's, ooh, a good that's one. another good one. I could think of, I could think of a few. I could think okay. of a few. All right. Few. All right. Yeah. So get to Twitter, tweet some of those uh, responses out, and we'll be back in a few. Something I learned from working on Power BI is how pervasive data is. It's really cool to see how you guys are using Power BI across your different industries and in different use cases and different stories that you're trying to tell. And it makes me really thankful to be part of a team that is working towards democratizing data. Seeing the excitement and the engagement from all of our customers is something that really deeply motivates our product team to improve a product on a daily basis. So I wanna thank everyone for that. Not only I was able to switch career, get my dream job because of Power BI, engage with all of you on a day-to-day -day basis to capture the essence of things that are in the way to help make the product better. Um, there's not a day that goes by where I get inspired by what you do. Your empathy and your creativity in finding ways to get things done is mind-blowing. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for really uh, giving uh, me the excitement I have every day in this job and helping me change careers. And I look forward to the next five years. Take care. So I work on AI features in Power BI. And a great learning for me has been that it's not about creating the most fancy, sophisticated algorithm, but it's really about helping our users get more value out of their data. And engaging with the community has been so important with this. Really learning from you, understanding your pain points, understanding how you run your business is what enables us to build things that really matter versus things that we think might be cool. When Power BI first launched, I didn't quite get the whole self-service BI thing. As a business intelligence professional, I wanted heavyweight tools for doing big things, big projects. And now Power BI has the capabilities that will allow analysts and self-service users to complete their work and will allow BI professionals to complete theirs. It's the best of both worlds. One of my first experiences with the Power BI team was through an internship. In that summer, I worked on creating accessible experiences and that showed me how much the team cares about accessibility and user experiences and its community and making sure that all different kinds of users can use Power BI. Uh, when I look at what the community is today versus what it was in the beginning, and especially what we had in mind for the online community, I can only say we have surpassed every expectation we had when we started. 
and that's only because of you. It's because of the energy you bring in, it's because of the way you treat each other, and it's because of the way you help each other. So thank you, thank you so much for it. I have a few questions for you. All right, shoot. All right, what's your favorite feature in Power BI? Really? Does that answer the question? Page reports, come on. Um, Clearly. So I remember my first exposure to Power BI was exactly six years ago. I was a new hire in the Microsoft Consulting Services, and I was at a large uh, Microsoft sales conference. And someone called Amir Nets, went up on stage and did this pretty cool demo of PowerView in Excel, all these flashy charts. And I remember thinking, you know, that this looked awesome and I would love to be more involved in that. And a year later, I was moving to Redmond and working on the team. What am I most excited about in the future of Power BI? Well, it's under NDA, so if I told you, I'd have to. There's no one feature. It's simply knowing that with the amazing users and the community that exists around the world, those of us working to make Power BI a better tool and a better platform, we have the input we need and we have the guidance that we need to do the right thing to make the next five years even better than the five years we've had so far. So we're in front of uh, building three, and this is where the Power BI service started. And that's when I started using uh, Power BI in Microsoft Finance. All right, that was amazing to hear from the folks on the Power BI team. And one thing I love about community, both internal and external, is I say something that I don't know, and everyone is willing to help out. And so uh, Brian Hartman actually pinged me on the side. Uh, he's a uh, one of the engineers on the Power BI desktop team. And then also Wukash Pawlowski, who's a PM on the Power BI team, uh, did it in a tweet. Uh, so he said the glasses were from the first, uh, Wukash said Business Application Summit, but Brian said it correctly, Data Insights Summit, Data Insights which, Summit, which I think you went to, Patrick. I think you went to that. I, I did, did not go I to did, that. I did, I did. I, I had it an accident crazy. and Patrick was... had to go in my place. Yeah, it was yeah. great. It was a yeah. great conference. Yeah. I handed so, out t-shirts the whole day. I handed out t-shirts. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where we were. Uh, one thing I do want to call out here, I saw uh, Anna did a tweet. Uh, Anna, I hope you are doing well. And just want a big uh, shout out for our Spanish community. So we love everything that you are doing. And there's a lot of folks contributing to the community from all nationalities, uh, all languages. And so thank you very much for all of that. Right. All right. So funniest, funniest, Patrick. Uh, so uh, we've got Joel here has got a tweet that he said, funniest report showing how the MVP distribution list email volume went insane over time. Ah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, and then we had, uh, let's see who else. Uh, so Katie, uh, had an item here. Uh, so Katie said website with, uh, hashtag power BI five that compares winter weather, uh, for your childhood to your parents' childhood to solve the age old question of who had it worst. Oh, that's a good, that, that's a good thing to look at who had, it? obviously the kids have it worse, right? Oh, so great so great uh and then uh just one last one real quick i see uh brian lee brian good to good to see you on the twitterverse celebrating power bi's fifth birthday power bi rocks awesome good to see you out there all right patrick what, what's our next question here and i think you and i could think of a few moments uh, what was your most embarrassing power bi moment oh mm. Mm. Think about it. Think okay. about it. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to think about that one. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. Let's keep this train moving. One of the really exciting parts of Power BI is the amount of interest that Power BI drew from the partner community. We had a huge group of partners that were very familiar with SQL Server analysis services, SQL Server reporting services, and all of uh, the SQL Server platform, and they found a home in Power BI. So over the last five years, the, the partner ecosystem has grown like crazy. Today, uh, you know, we have over 19,000 partners that sold Power BI last year, uh, and about a third of them, almost 7,000 partners, uh, you know, sold Power BI for the first time. So it's fantastic to see a whole ecosystem grow around Power BI, uh, not only about building great businesses, but also about helping our customers, uh, you know, get value out of this product. As a Microsoft partner, Every day I'm sharing my passion, my excitement for using Power BI as a tool 
of a future senior manager. We have had so many really satisfying experiences working with this product. It's really changed our lives. Power BI has changed the way we and our customers around the globe make decisions based on data and AI. You've done amazing things from programs you offer to the partners, to programs you provide to our clients, to programs you provide to anybody who has interest in wanting to be a part of the Microsoft Power BI journey. Thank you very much. Congratulations on five years. That's five years allowing us to help clients make strategic decisions. In just five short years, you closed off all the competition in next generation analytics and visualization. You win hands down on features, accessibility, scalability, security, speed, and cost. It's just been so transformative to see our clients adopt this tool, really get strategy and business insights at a level that they just couldn't before. Looking forward to continued partnership in the FY21. Go Power BI. We've been having a blast using this software and providing insights to various companies all across the globe. Desde Vía Applications queríamos agradecer a todo el equipo de producto y a la comunidad por hacer de Power BI lo que hoy es. Sin dudas, la mejor plataforma de analytics. It's been an amazing five years and we're all excited what the next five years has to offer. So congratulations and happy anniversary. Thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you. Happy five years. Congratulations, Power BI. <laughs> Peace. The community brings us all together. It is here in Building 17 that was my first interaction with the product group in Microsoft. As a proud member of the uh, Vancouver user group and one of the MVPs, we all enjoy the interaction with the community, with you guys, and hope to bring this community together for many more years to come. So thank you. Peace. <laughs> You hear? Oh, ooh. Ah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> ooh, all right. Chris is awesome. Talk about embarrassing moments. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Living live. Go. Living Chris live. is awesome. <laughs> Chris is awesome. Peace. Yes, that was all right. great. <laughs> all right. So we've got, we've got some embarrassing moments that are out there. So uh, let's see. Greg Nash uh, did one here. Uh, so he did a demo of Power BI and Stream Analytics at the Melbourne User Group and sent it bad JSON data. Ooh, fail town. Ooh, that Ooh, happens. That, that's happened to me a few times. Yeah. That's, that's happened to me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So Will Will Thompson, he's he's out there on the Twitterverse. Uh, so he said his most embarrassing <laughs> moment was probably losing a paginated report bear uh, during a Bake Off. Uh, that was a that was I a was great there moment. For that. Yeah, we were there for that. That was awesome. That was awesome. That was awesome. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, so Oscar uh, has got one where uh, his most embarrassing moment was fighting with Dax with time intelligence for four hours until he re realized he didn't have a timetable or a date table. Uh, I don't know how many times that's happened where we just got a bad relationship, data's not there, and we don't have a date table to to do what we needed to do. Ooh, all right. Uh, let's see if I can pick out one more really quick. Uh, so Raul had one. Uh, he's going back to his, his uh, funniest question or the funniest question that we did. So Raul said the, his funniest project is that one which he found people as passionate with data like him. Uh, we really have fun working on it. That's awesome. Great to hear it. Yeah. All right, Patrick. What, what's the next question that we've got? That last comment just kind of goes right into it. So what do you love most, you know, boop, boop, about the Power BI community? What do you love most about it? Oh, yeah. So many good. things. I can't so, think, I can't think of one thing, man. I just can't think of one thing. There's, uh, there's so much that we love. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. So uh, any, any quick thoughts on your end about that? About what I love most? Yeah. How, how fast people are. How how fast people are just to answer questions when they don't expect anything in return. You post a question, you email them yeah. or then they go, boom, there's an answer to the question. I yep. mean, it's amazing. To me, it's yep. just amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's what Gilbert Q called out in his, uh, in his bit as well. Just the, everyone's willing to answer items. Alrighty. So we are getting close to the halfway mark. 
and we have a special message from Mr. Scott Guthrie. So let's hear what he has to say. All right. Hi, everyone. Today marks five years since we launched Power BI. And over the last five years, Power BI has grown from being a brand new product to the world's leading business intelligence platform. And it's you know, literally an application that I use when I wake up every morning. Uh, and it's become an essential part of the lives of literally millions of people around the world. And the progress that we've had in terms of Power BI's adoptions really only become, was really only possible because of the Power BI community and the effort that you all have invested so much in making Power BI what it is now. It really takes a community to bring people together and it takes a great community to help each other grow and use technology uh, to find new ways to achieve more. And I wanna take this opportunity to really thank the members of the Power BI community uh, for all your passion, um, for all the work you've done to help customers uh, drive a data-driven culture, and for taking the time to provide us with the feedback that we needed uh, to make a product that really delights our customers. Thank you. As appropriate, we're finishing up here in Advanta A. Not just the home of Power BI, but the home of all of Power Platform. So if you've used any of the Power Platform suite, because Power BI has actually become a lot more than just a set of visualizations and analytics. It is the enabler for the Power Platform. It's the heart and soul of the Power Platform with the community. Thank you very much. All right. So thank you for that last wow. building shout out, Chuck. It was great to see. All right. So, uh, what do we, what do we most love about this? So we've got, uh, Wolfgang's, uh, got a tweet for us here. Let's see what Wolfgang's got to say. He says what he loves most about power BI community. Mm, well, let's summarize it with one word, PBI family. Yep. Uh, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. All right. So, uh, one thing I do want to call out, uh, just as a reminder is make sure you're going over to the community site and taking part in the giveaway for the shirt. So there are some instructions that you have to go do over on that community site that will help you get into the list for the giveaway. So hopefully uh, you will end up getting a, a shirt. So awesome. All right. Uh, so let's see what else we've got here. Uh, let's see if we've got, so Miguel Martinez is hanging out there. Uh, he said, oh gosh, look what I found uh, from our first Data Insight Summit back in 2016 uh, with Miss Amanda and Sandy and Wukash and Alberto Cairo. And he had tweeted out a bunch of pictures. Unfortunately, I can't show those pictures, but they were all in the, uh, the picture frames uh, that you could do at the event, which was really cool. Nice. Yeah. All right. And then uh, Melissa. Melissa. Hey, Melissa. So she said, I love how much information sharing happens every single day across the Power BI community. Seriously, we have an amazing community. I 100% agree with that. 1000% agree. 1000% yeah. agree. Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to do now, uh, like I said, we're in the we're in the second half of this. We're just going to take some time and hang out with you, interact with you on Twitter. And so we're going to end up, uh, we've got, I think, Patrick, you've got a couple more questions that we're going to throw out there. I do. Uh, and then while we wait for some of those responses to come in, we have an awesome crew standing uh, backstage that are queuing up some tweets for us to call out. And so it'll take a second. Yeah. Yeah. Right behind you, Patrick. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So, um, so, uh, we'll ask those questions. We'll get some stuff queued out and then we'll, we'll see what everyone has to say, uh, just for uh, cool. a few more minutes and we'll just enjoy everyone's time together on this awesome Thursday, July 23rd. All right, Patrick, what, what, uh, what next yeah. question do you have? So this is a good one, Adam. I, I, I like this one a lot. What have you learned? while working on Power BI. I can think about 10 mm. million things I've learned mm. while working on Power BI. I just learned something yesterday, as a matter of fact. Um, and so, yeah, I, that's a good question. I learned, I, I, I tell people, I, I think you're in the same spot where we learn something new every day. Um, and I know you've been, you've been going uh, just in depth on DAX and data modeling and yep. having a lot of fun with that. and. Yep. So I've been, I've been hanging out with uh, Chris Hamill a lot and uh, Chris yeah. has been, Chris Hamill is one of the report designers on the Power BI CAT team, which is the team that Patrick and I are on. And uh, he does amazing work along with Miguel Myers. And so I've been learning a lot of stuff from him on report design, which is, which is awesome. So do you, do you remember 
when in the power query in the query editor when i showed you the the min the dependency mapping thing and we both were like when did when did they put that in there <laughs> that in remember there? that <laughs> uh, i remember that and I'm, I, I think i responded with i was just like oh that was like last september and you're like you're right last year and i'm like what it's <laughs> what that's right. What? That's right. That's oh, right. Oh my goodness. It's been in there a long time. It's been yes, there a long time. Yes. It's been there a long time. All right, let's see here. So uh yeah. Brian. Brian's oh, that was not Brian. Uh Brian's got a tweet out there. Uh so uh Power BI five, everyone you meet is doing what they do because they love working with data. Yes. Uh it's great to be surrounded by people who are driven first and foremost by passion. I agree with that as well. Uh yeah. so yeah. Patrick almost you didn't almost have that shirt that you're wearing today. So I think that came in the mail I, yesterday. I like last it minute. It came in the mail yesterday. Yes. Like yes. last minute. I love so. it. It feels so good though. It's, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I told Kelly that uh, <laughs> if, if you didn't get that shirt, you were going to wear your I love data shirt. I heart data. Yeah. Yes, I yeah. was. I was. That's yes. a, that's a, that, that shirt has a, some sentimental value because that's when I did, that's the shirt I wore when I did my first keynote. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that was at Past Summit, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You, you talk... actually gave me the the wardrobe advice. I you did. actually gave me the wardrobe advice. I gave you a lot of advice. <laughs> you did. I did, and uh, that was uh, that was you were talking about paginated reports in Power BI. Of course. Yes. That's right. Paginated That's right. Reports. Remember, I introduced the print the print button. Yes, and everyone went <laughs> wild. It was amazing. Wow. It was amazing. Yeah. It was All right. So Marcus yeah, has a tweet yeah, here. Uh, so Marcus said, I learned that if it's not available today, it may be available in the next week. That is true. Uh, I, I can so think true. of, I can think of a lot of demos that I put together for sessions where like the night before, just making sure all the demos work. And I'm like, wait, why is like, I'm normally I try and demo an actual failure so that we can show like what's going on. And I'm like, wait, it's working. What happened it's and there was now. a deployment the day before i'm like oh no yeah oh no oh uh, all right so uh anna again funny, uh so she said i'm 100 percent technical so thanks to power bi i've learned to communicate to business users microsoft thank you for five oh, years man. that is awesome that is awesome being able to communicate so awesome. to uh you know to to business users and leadership and whatnot is a great skill to have uh, and I'm glad to see that the Power BI community has helped folks with with that type of yeah. skill, which is great. Yeah. I would also uh, just fun. recommend to folks, if you're not involved in the community, if you're just sitting there watching, I would definitely encourage you to get involved, whether it be on social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, um, the, the Power BI community site for sure. Uh, also look at your local user groups to get involved there as yes. well as looking, you know, with conferences, speaking there and so on, whether it's virtual or in person, uh, those are all things you can do to, uh, to, to get involved and to help learn and share your information with other folks. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Sandy, Sandy did a tweet out there. Sandy. Hey, Sandy. Power BI, have you seen our cool Spanish forum in the online community? Ooh, thanks, Miguel Escobar, for the inspiration and effort to bring this to life. So another great example of community nice. helping to do things from uh, the Power BI side of things for other community members. That's great. All right. Yes. All right. So, Patrick, what else do you have? So I, this is, I, I like this question. I really like it. Who introduced you to Power BI? Oh, Ooh, Ooh. right. Who introduced you to Power Ooh, I've got to think back on that one. Hmm. When, so I, I started with Power BI. I think you and I both started with Power BI before it was Power BI. Um, yep. I was in the support organization, uh, working on reporting services, analysis services and SQL connectivity. And, uh, yeah, or just as part of that role, got looped into uh, you know Power View, Power Query, uh, Power Pivot, and Excel, and then working with folks as we got into the Power BI service that it is today. Uh, what about you? I don't remember exactly who, but what I, I do remember, I was working at a little company well, a company called Pragmatic Works, and Chuck called this out. Um, we were setting up some 
power view and stuff like that and that's like my earliest recollect recollection so I guess it was somewhere somebody you know there I don't remember exactly who but probably Amir Nets introduced a lot of us to it yes um, with yeah. all his his great presentations on power view um, yeah Justina probably, commented we'll about that on a on a at a conference oh, yeah. where she was introduced to power bi there so yeah yep. yep. that's awesome yep. so Prathi did a tweet. Prathi, how are you? It's been a while. So Prathi said that she learned Power BI is the best and the CAT team. So the CAT team, if you're not aware, that's the customer advisory team or the customer success team of Power BI. And the CAT team works with a lot of the large enterprise customers uh, to help with adoption and just usage of Power BI. Uh, there's a lot of awesome people on that team. So Casper DeYoung, uh, Bill Seamark, uh, Chris Webb, who a lot of you probably know. Um, those are all folks that are there. Uh, Lauren Faber, who's on the team as well. She does a lot of the customer stories uh, that are awesome to read. So there's a, there's a lot of great people on that team. Uh, and then Matthew Roach as well is another one. He, was, uh, he talked uh, earlier in this live stream. So that was great to see. Uh, so we see Mark Walters out there. Let's see what he had to say. Uh, my intern that I taught Power Pivot to walked in one day and showed him Power BI. Amazing five years. That is great to see. Oh, that awesome. is great. Awesome. That is awesome. All right. Uh, I'm going to show this. I don't know how to pronounce this name. I apologize for that. Uh, but Power BI is five, but I am just a year on it. Uh, I hope to be at par and be five and a half with it in December. My mid-year goal, happy birthday, RBI, you make me feel like a superstar at work. Oh, that is great. That is great. I, I remember, oh, I got chills, uh, man. yeah, a lot of folks, they talk about chills. how working with Power BI, it's, it's easy to use and it just makes them look like a superstar in their job, which is amazing. That is amazing. Yeah. All right, let's see here. Uh, Gina, Gina, good to see you. Uh, so Gina said, uh, all right, who remembers the epic years of BI Power Hour at Past Summit? Yes. Oh, Power Hour. So if, if, you, if you go back to Will's comment about the uh, Bake Off with Paginated Report Bear, that was at the last uh, Power Hour that was at Business Application Summit. That was in Atlanta. So yeah. that, was, uh, that was a great event. There, were, that was, there was a lot of people in that one. Uh, and then the one that before the last it, time we did it. Yep. Yeah, and then the one before that was at Past Summit, uh, which was also great. Uh, so the power yeah. hours are always fun and just entertaining to watch, right? So it's a little uh, yeah. like not super deep technical. You can see some very cool stuff uh, with inside of Power BI. So yeah. awesome, awesome. All right, uh, Keith has got an item here. So Keith was introduced to Power BI by Excel. Been working with Excel since version 2.1. Ooh, wow. Uh, and when I learned about the power add-on suite in Excel, Keith was sold. That is awesome. Boom. Patrick, you yeah. work a lot with Excel, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Tons. We, 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 do, we do work with Excel, but I, I would say- Yes, we do. We, we live inside of Power BI. So we do, yes, we do a lot in yes, Power BI day-to-day. Yeah. -day. So that is great. Uh, so uh, Chris Hamill, seeing him out there, I just mentioned him a little bit earlier. So much like Mark Regera, Power BI changed my life dramatically by pulling me out of finance. Uh, I could be working on journal entries right now. So, so Chris used to work on the, the Microsoft <laughs> Finance team, uh, and then he came to the Power BI CAT team doing report design and... His story is actually very cool how he uh, transitioned yeah. from doing the finance stuff to getting into report design and, and all of that. So that was that was great to see. All right. All right, Patrick, what else do you have? So this, I think we're going to get, a, there's, is, Twitter's going to get flooded with this one. Oh, okay. What's your favorite feature inside of Power BI? Favorite feature? Ooh. Yeah, what's your favorite Ooh. feature inside of Power BI? Ooh, I have to think about that. What's, you know, what's honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know if mine's a feature, but it's the data model view. The data model view. I, I live in the data model view. I yeah. really do because you have all the flexibility of multi-select and formatting, just doing everything. It, it, there's so many capabilities there. I, I just live there. I love it. That's my favorite. Feature. That's my favorite my, place. Yeah. Maybe it's a place. 
My mine is a combo. Uh, it is uh, buttons and bookmarks, right? Because you oh. can really take your report to that next level and uh, use yep. reports in a way that's more like an application-like experience. So you can get really creative with yeah. those. And when I say button also, it's not necessarily like an actual button. It could be an image. It could be, you know, anything that gives you that interaction. So, so those are great to see. Wow. Yeah. So, so let us know what your favorite feature is. Uh, we'll let some of those, uh, we'll let some of those come in. And also just another reminder, be sure to hit that community site to, to get into the drawing for the t-shirts. A lot of people have been tweeting that they want those t-shirts. So, uh, all right. So let's look at, uh, so Kim Manis also had one. Uh, so she said, uh, who introduced her to Power BI? Nick Caldwell and Larissa Horton. So a good shout out to uh, Nick and Larissa who were uh, used to be on the Power BI team, but have since moved uh, to other things. Uh, thanks for bringing me into the team. Miss you too. Uh, it's been a great five years. Yeah, I miss them as well. So let's see here. Uh, we've got, uh, so, ooh. I don't know. They're coming in fast. Uh, for yeah, Perez, yeah, uh, it's told amazing you. how Power BI brought the data closest to the business users and gave the power to generate their information and answers questions that previously had no answer. So bringing the data to life and gaining those insights wow. is amazing. So, wow. all right. Uh, all right. So Galway Power BI user group. Scatter chart using the play axis is my favorite. Thanks, Will Thompson. Oh, scatter chart is nice. The play axis. I remember, uh, if I remember correctly, and I'm, I'm sure folks on uh, out there will correct me if I'm wrong, uh, when the Power BI service first came out, it didn't have the play axis on the scatter chart, but the old Power View did. Uh, and based on community <laughs> feedback and whatnot, the play axis got back in. That was good. All right, Katie's Katie's got an item here. Conditional formatting and buttons, bookmark selection and view. Yes, yes, yes. excellent, yes. excellent, awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see here, uh, Marcus. Marcus loves Power Query uh, with the pivot and unpivot pivot column feature. All right, a lot of people don't know about yeah. that. Actually, that's one of those hidden yeah, hidden one. hidden gems. Yeah. Yeah. All right, diamond in the rough. Diamond in the rough. All right, uh, so Catherine, Catherine out there. Catherine's favorite feature in Power BI, the new GUI for themes. So the new themes oh. items and your ability to select themes and customize your themes, it's good stuff. That's good stuff. That, that definitely took it to the next level. Uh, so that was good. Uh, Mr. Alex Powers is out there. Uh, Alex, Power BI 5 favorite feature is and always will be Power Query. I'm shocked, Alex. I'm shocked. I didn't expect you to know, say that. I know. Uh, I know that's not exclusive, but for me, there's nothing better than lowering the barrier for our end users to get data. So true. true so true. Just yes. that ability to shape the data and, uh, you know, make it feel good. All right. Uh, let's see here. All right. Another favorite feature. Uh, in Power BI, drop shadows. All my visuals now have them. Oh. I, I would say there are some folks that don't care for the drop shadows. Other people do. Uh, what say you, Patrick? <laughs> so somebody told me I was my reports were old school. Like they look '90s when I started using drop shadows everywhere. So there, it's a mixed audience out there. On it, it, there is a mixed shadows. audience. Me, there is a mixed audience. Personally, I love them. I love I, them. I like them too. I love them. Uh, it gives some separation yeah. to the background, which is always nice. So, yeah. 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 If, yeah. if you're not going to do that in your actual background itself, adding the uh, adding the drop shadow there is a nice nice little addition. So that's great. That's great. So uh, I haven't seen, I don't know where she is. I haven't seen Megan Longoria at all uh, tweeting, but I know uh, I'm, I'm going to kind of harness her a little bit. Uh, she's been a huge advocate for accessibility in Power BI and just reports yes. in general. Um, and so I know yeah. that I just want to call that out as well. I don't think it gets called out enough. Uh, so thinking about when you're building those reports of being able to make them accessible for everyone and not just yourself. So think about whether it's color blindness, uh, visual impairment, uh, or, or whatnot. Right. Uh, and I, so Otto is someone on our team where, um, he has to use his eyes to actually uh, yeah. read reports yeah. and use items. Uh, and it's, a, he's got an amazing story. There was a, there was an article out there. I don't have it offhand, 
um, but he did something uh, or he there's been highlights on him and his experience and how he's used technology uh, and it's a it's an amazing story uh, so definitely go check it out um, auto if you're watching uh, tweet it out to hashtag power bi5 so everyone can see it and then uh, so so another great example of why it's important to have accessibility in your reports so definitely yeah, definitely yeah. all right uh, so Casper's out there as well Let's see what Casper's favorite feature is. Has to be DAX. Ah, no competition. We, Again, we know, shocked. We know. Shocked. So thanks, Rob Colley. Rob Colley's another great person out there in the community uh, for convincing him to join 10 years ago, join Microsoft 10 yeah, years ago. So, of course, of nice. course DAX. Nice. Of course, DAX. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm surprised. Go ahead. No, you, you go. I'm surprised no one has said composite models, composite models and eggs. Huh. I've been waiting for it. I just, I'm huh. surprised. Incremental refresh. I can just think of all these great features, but it's always report design. It's always yeah. report design. Everybody loves report design. <laughs> oh, <laughs> report design. Report, like, I, I love uh, talking with Matthew Roach and, uh, He's always uh, surprised when he sees someone's basic report and he always comments, wow, that's so much better than mine. So I say the same thing. I, I think exactly. So. That is, I'm, I'm learning, uh, but uh, I have a long way to go. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, all right. There we go. Uh, Chewy. Chewy, my fellow Houstonian. Uh, so he called out uh, Chapman for You, which is Otto's Twitter handle, uh, is a total inspiration. I absolutely agree. He's an awesome person. Um, so definitely uh, follow him and, and go check out his story. Thanks, Chewy, for, for putting that out there. Um, uh, Sean Donovan's got a favorite feature as well. Uh, being able to download Power BI Desktop for free from the Microsoft Store changed his career path when he downloaded it for the first time. Updates every month from the Microsoft Store. So make sure you're always up on the latest version. Uh, yeah. So... And, uh, like... Uh, Amir actually called this out as well, uh, saying that giving Power BI Desktop away for free. So that was just Microsoft thinking about the community, right? So that was, that was a big deal. It yeah. was a big deal. A lot of discussion around that as well. So, all right, uh, Patrick, any other questions here? You know, I'm going to skip a little bit because I, I want to. I yep. we got time for one more. People... we got time for one more. All right. So this is the one I want. What are you most excited about? in the future of Ooh. Power BI. Ooh. Oh, right? I, I can think I, of some things. I yeah. can think of some things. It wants all the features. Everything. So That's all the 24,000 ideas, yes. all the 24,000 yes. ideas and all. ideas at PowerBI.com, I yes. want them all. That's what I'm most excited about. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Give them all to me. A room, give them all to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a little inside uh, information. Patrick has no say on that. So, I have no say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Paul Turley. Paul, good to see you. Uh, Paul Turley's new favorite feature is external tools. Oh, that was amazing when that came out. Oof. Being able to use Tabular oh, Editor yeah. and DAX Studio yes, directly from Power yeah. BI Desktop and other tools that you could create on your own. That's really great. Uh, so, let's see here. What else do we have? Uh, so Cecilia also uh, did a tweet as well. Uh, Power BI 5 bookmarks and buttons as well. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, the format painter. Oh, the format painter. That is great. Oh. You've oh, done some amazing things good. with that, Patrick. Makes I it easy. I have done some amazing things. It makes yeah. it easy. Learning the clicks, man. Yeah. Just learning the clicks. Yeah. And uh, she yeah. also mentioned who introduced her to Power BI. Uh, she wanted to replace Tableau and found it. Or she wanted a replacement for Tableau and found it. Uh, so she can say thanks to Tableau. Okay. <laughs> I'm thankful for I'll everyone. leave that one alone. Yes. Uh, Fernando. Fernando. Uh, what I most like, the ability to join the entire pow power platform to come up with astonishing value-added solutions. That's a good one. That's a good one. The power platform with Power one. Automate, Power Apps, embedding Power Apps inside of a report doing right back operations, having power oh. automate kick processes off like refresh Ooh. and other things. You, you've done some good stuff there, right, Patrick? Say, say right back again, say right back again. again. <laughs> right back, right Ooh. back. Right. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. 
can do some amazing things with the power platform. It's good. Can, virtual agents can, also been doing some can. good stuff as well. Yeah. So it's yeah, good to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, Patrick, this stuff. one's for you. Uh, Donald Parrish, new composite models to mash up data sets, constellation models. There, there you go. go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Right. Donald, Donald. There you go. That's it. Donald's there for you. There you go. Uh, He's right here. Oh, Gaston Cruz. Gaston, my own good heart. to see you. Good to see you. Everything about AI capabilities and enterprise modeling is crazy to see the future of Power BI 5. Shout out to Justina and Christian yeah. Wade uh, for uh, the awesome clicky, clicky, draggy, droppy. That is a nice. historic nice. demo of Christian's. Yeah. All righty. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can find one more good one uh, to go. Uh, uh, I'm searching. Uh, so Yana is out there. Hello, Yana. Uh, so her favorite feature, Power BI 5, Power BI embedding, uh, an integration with Power Automate. Yeah, yeah all, the, all the Power BI yes. embedded folks yes. out there. Yeah. Working with yeah. code. I'm right there with you. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm going to pull one more. All right. Here we go. Joel. Okay. Right. Joel, you are the last tweet here. Uh, what I'm most excited about, the day when data refresh uses AI magic and just works without having to intervene. That would be amazing. Ooh. Yeah. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Your data All right, change. Everyone. Refresh. Yeah. Your data change. Refresh. Yeah. Go ahead. Any last words, Patrick? No, th just thanks. Thanks to yeah. Yeah. the Thank Power BI team, the community. Thanks to everyone around the world for using Power BI. It's a great product. Yep. And thanks. my thanks to everyone in the community as, as we've traveled abroad and learned new things both about the regions that we were in and all the folks that helped us out and were with us in areas that we weren't familiar with, as well as learning Power BI and sharing experiences of Power BI and, and what you do. And, and I'll leave you with one final question out there. Uh, Matthew Roach uses this question a lot. I have adopted it as well. Whenever I meet someone in person, I try to ask this question. Um, just keep that conversation going in the community site and Twitter. If you had a magic wand, and could change one thing to drive adoption of Power BI in your organization, what would that be? Mm. Let us know out there. Mm. All right, everyone. Yeah. One last comment from Miss Kelly, and uh, she will close it out for us. Thanks for uh, hanging in there with us, and we love all of you. Wow, that was awesome. Yes, isn't the Power BI community great? Yeah, but I kind of knew that already. But now everyone else does too. Yeah, you're right, Sandy. Absolutely right. <laughs> okay, just because this live stream is coming to an end, we're not done. We'd like to continue together with you, the Power BI community. So don't forget, we're giving away t-shirts. So share your data stories on community.powerbi.com. Or send us a tweet using hashtag Power BI and the number five and community.powerbi.com. <laughs> Thank you everyone for everything you've done to build a great Power BI community. Couldn't agree more, Sandy. Thank you, Power BI community, for all your contributions, your dedication, and for teaching others. We're looking forward to the next five years together. Hashtag Power BI, bye. Community.powerbi.com. <laughs> Thanks everybody, bye.